right, we are still here at Clay Pigeon. What was sunny Dorchester um, and is now not. We are sitting in this race, um, in this part of the country, and we've got rain. And if you've just tuned in, the Tillotson was absolutely crazy. Um, but here's the grid for the Bambinos. We've got Baker in first, Ansel in second, Albert Batchelor in third, Sydney now in fourth, Albert Far Faro in fifth, Harley Brad Bradbury Stretton in sixth place. Sang in seventh, ha Hadley Jarvis in eighth, Hugo Williams in ninth, Arthur Bath in tenth, Jensen James Williams down in eleventh, and Ralph Martin rounds out the grid in twelfth place. Uh, Michael, these are my kind of conditions. Love racing in the rain. Hmm. Well, that's a different... I don't know if I would, you see, because it, it just looked... Well, it looked crazy with cars going everywhere. And, um, yeah, these electric bambinos are going to have to be... Um, hmm. Oh, as we see, a spinner straight off there um, going round. They're going to have to be careful. They're going to have to be careful. It's not going to be flat-out race conditions. Um, so these Bambinos are going to be um, have to be careful. So, uh, right, a special shout-out for Albert Bachelor's family who helped Ansel out during qualifying yesterday when his car was broken. So thank you, Serena Ansel's mum. Thank you, hashtag thank you, hashtag respect racing. So there you go, big shout out to um, the Bachelors, our Bachelors family, who helped out the Ansels during after Ansel had his qualifying. So uh, big shout out, much love from you all, absolutely stellar. Always good to get in hand, and especially when in this little series is absolutely incredible here at the BKC in Clay Pigeon. Now, I think what we're going to have to do is they're going to get a whisper in their ear um, here from from the mechanics to the drivers. Um, just to say, we've got somebody down in the barrier, down in the hairpin there. Somebody in the hairpin um, is unfortunately facing the wrong way. So uh, hopefully we'll just see a marshal go rushing down there. So we'll have to have a look and uh, see. But we have got somebody down in the hairpin. Don't forget, uh, let's see, get the mechanics whispering in their ears, telling them it's wet. Uh, as we see there, Sydney now just being pulled into position. Just going to see what happens. I believe we're still down um, in... The, there's still somebody stuck in the hairpin. Um, I believe... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... Four, that's it, ninth. Is that Hadley Jarvis? Could be Hugo Williams, actually, down in the uh, hairpin section. Is it in the wet there? Is that... I think that is Hugo Williams... Car number 91. So, yes, it was. Hugo Williams, unfortunately, put it off in um, on the outlap as they're going around to the grid. Um, but here we go. The cars are lined up. Ready to go. It is raining. It is very wet. We've had a downpour. People are back out of the grandstand, so it looks like it's stopped raining. But... As we're waiting now, Carol Moore in YouTube there. Go Sydney, love Graffa in South Africa. Nice. We're worldwide here on Alpha Live. Still on the grid. They're going to have to be careful. I, I thought they've been um, been told that they're, um, it's, it's been raining. It's going to be really slippery. Because the last thing we want to say is... Um, these mighty bambinos go sliding off down in turn one. Um, but I'm sure they're away now. They're away. Ansel has got out in front. Baker is under pressure from Nell. I think Nell's actually got the second place as they go round turn one. Nell's gone in deep on the outside of the circuit, manages to hold it as they're going up through the S's now. Ansel still out in front. Nell is second. Baker is third. Baker trying to look there to try and get the back gap, the gap down and the position back. That's car number 54. That's Bachelor. Oh, spinner. Spinner. No, oh, they're all spun. Everybody spun. 42, 54. Um, Bachelor. Pharaoh. 
Number 92, Baker spun as well. The rain, it's all down to the rain here at Clay Pigeon has played a massive part in the racing today. But at the moment, Ansel is still out here in front. Then we are now in second. I don't think it's going to be Baker. I think it's going to be car number Sang. Sang in third. Car number 88. In third place. You see as they cross the line now. You see the timing. Jarvis in fourth. Williams fifth. Bachelor in sixth. Bath in seventh. As you see, Ansel now, now going around the hairpin. Now's gone in very wide. Oh, that's not part of the track. Keep it on. Here we go. Now, still waiting for the other cars to come past us here on the horseshoe. There's another couple of spinners there. Uh, there's a spinner in the hairpin again. Car number 45. Bake, uh, Baker's going around the outside there. Baker's making move past Jensen James Williams. So we're just waiting for it to settle down. We've still got Ansel in front. We've still got Nell in second. We've still got Sang in third. But I've got a feeling Baker's now back up into fourth. Baker in fourth. You see now the time is changing again. Bachelor in fifth. Ferro sixth. William seventh. Brad Bradbury Stratton is in eighth. Jarvis ninth. Bath in tenth. Martin down in eleventh. Albert Bachelor there is unfortunately got a warning. Oh, big slide from Baker. Car number 92. Oh, goes off in the hairpin. Goes off in the hairpin. Freddie Baker goes round at the hairpin. Unfortunately, he lost a couple of positions to Bachelor. That's Bradbury Stratton right behind him. So that's actually ba ba uh, Baker down in what, seventh place, I think. I'm going to have to wait for it to settle down a little bit. Because there's been a lot of sliders off, and Baker has been one of them. I'm trying to pick up. Ansel is still out in front. Nell is still second. Sang is third. Bachelor four, Pharaoh fifth. Baker in sixth. Car number 92 there, going around turn one. Followed by number 99, that's Bradbury Stratton. There's car number 54, that's Bachelor and 42. Pharaoh in fourth and fifth uh, place. As we see Bachelor go, well, we see Pharaoh go even wider at the hairpin. As they're being picked up now, coming down into the horseshoe now. Bachelor is in fourth. Faro fifth. There was a car around the wrong way, wasn't there at that point? Or did I just imagine that? I've seen so many spinning cars over the last couple of weeks. I thought there was another one. But there we go. Round the top bend we go. With these little mighty E Bambinos there. Car number 54. Bachelor in fourth place. Baker's now back up into fifth. Sang has 88 there. Jot down the order. There's a lot of wide lines. They're going to try and slow that, uh, that one down into turn one and up through the S's because they're taking a very wide line there. Baker's coming back through the field. There you go. There is Baker there. Car number 92. Followed by Pharaoh number 42. So that's Baker up into fourth place. Bachelor in third. He's got the ever closing Baker behind him. Now Baker's tucked up because he's coming up round top bend now, trying to close that gap down into Bachelor in third place. Very tricky conditions for these guys on the mighty ease at the moment. Baker's back up into four, Pharaoh's fifth, Sang sixth, Bradbury Stratton seventh, Jarvis eighth, Martin ninth, Williams is in tenth, Bath is in eleventh. So let's go. We've got the ever charging there on board, Freddie Baker. Charging down now, car number 54, Albert Bachelor. Baker's got to be looking, trying to take that in the line up through the hairpin. They go, they're running near and up side by side. 
Baker's looking at trying to come back again at Bachelor. Can Baker take this third place? Nell's only seven seconds up the road. So in these conditions, I'm not going to say it's not doable, but it's a big ask from Freddie Baker at the moment. But for now, Baker needs to concentrate on getting past the Bachelor. There as we jump back on board with Ansel, who's currently in first place and leading by seven seconds at the moment. As you see this young man go up around the horseshoe and up around the right hand or a top bend so it's uh, doing an absolute stellar job out in front at the moment in these exceedingly tricky conditions and they are tricky for everyone and uh, but Ansel here keeping the car on track and is currently leading with about a minute and a half remaining of the heat uh, at the moment so uh, there you go um, now seven seconds back, Bachelor as well, a long way back from that. So I've got to believe in now, here comes across the line in front of me and it's going to wrap up in second place. Um, it's a big ask, but, uh, well, you never know. We've seen people slide off and, um, you know, let's hope it doesn't happen to, oh, we see Ansel getting a bit, a bit wide out of shape there. Comes up into the horseshoe section. <sighs> Oh, slow him down. He's got a gap. He doesn't need to be pushing that hard. Ansel just needs to keep it on track to finish this race in first place. Nell is in second. There is Nell. Now, Baker's a couple of corners back, right? So Baker is down in the hairpin. Nell is going around top bend. So I think Nell's going to wrap up this second place. But here is Ansel there. It takes a very wide line into turn one. Up through the S's they go. Pass number 24. That's half above. Oh, in the, in the front there. Oh, no. Ansel's been hit. Ansel got tagged by car number 99. That's Bradbury Streatham. And number 88 in there, uh, Sang. But Ansel got tagged. The three, they were slight contact there coming through. Ansel tried to come round. It just got tagged on the exit there. So Ansel now comes up around top bend. Collect the last lap board here of the mighty E Bambinos from Clay Bidgeon for heat free. And uh, without barring any major incidents here, Ansel is. Oh! Woo! That young man got a little bit big of a slide on. Round turn one, he goes up through the S's. Here we go on this run down, Sturm is into the hairpin. Just got to keep it on track for the last lap, young sir. Ooh, big correction in the middle of that corner. He's still pushing to try and keep the gap, but doesn't need to. First place here for Ansel's coming round the top bend. There you go. I think Ansel is going to take this victory. In first place. Ansel comes across the line there. In first place. Ansel takes the win in heat three. Sydney now is going to take second. There you go. Sydney now comes across the line in second place. Baker comes across the line in third. Farrow crosses the line in fourth place. So they've done really well. Um, guys, considering, you know, the conditions are really quite treacherous at this moment in time. Um, it, it really is. It, it's quite actually, um, you know, quite scary. So we're going we're gonna, to gonna get a calm retrieve from the middle of the circuit as well. Um, so there you go. That was the mighty E. Bambinos with Ansel taking first place. Sydney now in second. Freddie Baker in third. Pharaoh fourth. And, Jen, and uh, Albert Bachelor rounds out your top five.